welcome back to Fifi's Place. I know it's been a while. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but hope you all have been well. Uh, I am. I thought of it, I videotape today because uh, our family is embarking upon a new uh, eating uh, way of life and. So I, we're actually headed out to um, Whole Foods uh, to pick up a few things to change over our cupboard and change over our refrigerator. Um, I have been doing a lot of research on uh, being vegan and also being raw vegan. So, um, so anyway, we're going to pick up a few things. Uh, yes, to date we are still eating meat and everything, but we are trying to transition at this point. So. Uh, for many reasons, mostly for health, um, I think, you know, and just a cleaner way of eating. So uh, just to consciously change and get in more, you know, a friend of mine said, well, just eat more fruits and vegetables. Just eat. And I think that's easier said than done, especially when you're uh, in a hurry, you know, all the time. I think it's something you probably have to, well, initially you have to consciously do. Um, well, for me, anyway. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so headed out to Whole Foods. I'll probably try to show a little bit maybe... Uh, Either while we're there or um, when we come back, what we purchased while we were there. Um, I have a Sprouts near me, and um, there is a, um, what's the other one? Um, you're probably all screaming it out, but I can't think of the other store right now. It's because I don't have any of them um, close to me. Uh, that we're not going to that one. So um, Whole Foods is probably actually the closest and then the Sprouts is actually the next closest. Of course, other than the H-E-B and that sort of thing. But anyway, we'll see what we get and what we pick up and uh, we'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Hi, okay, so um, I just wanted to, we, I, we actually did not uh, vlog or anything while we were there at the store. So anyway, we ended up at Sprouts. And of course, the store that I was trying to think of earlier that we don't have near us is a Trader Joe's. Um, there are some in our area, the Houston area, but none by me. So, um, so that's why we don't uh, visit there. So, I ended up not going to um, uh, uh, Whole Foods after all. I went ahead on and went to um, Sprouts and picked up a few things. So, I'll just show you what we picked up. Uh, first of all, we picked up a, a sweet young coconut, and I've actually, never actually gotten like a real, like a real, real coconut. <laughs> so I got a coconut opener to assist with um, opening that up. Okay, and then um, also got some some organic uh, red slate seedless uh, certified organic grapes. So those look real good. Can't wait to get to those. I also got some or, uh, organic strawberries, and I actually already have some uh, frozen bananas in the freezer, uh, where the you know bananas were almost you know too ripe, more ripe than I like. Um, although I hear that's the best way to eat them, but anyway, as they got riper than I like, we uh, put them in bite sizes and put them in the freezer so that we could make um, ice cream. You know, blend it up in the uh, Vitamix. Uh, the bananas, use it as a base, put a little almond milk in there, and then put the strawberries in there, and then you got strawberry ice cream, vegan style. Okay, so let's see, I also, I don't know, we're going to try these, I've never had these, uh, uh, apple cinnamon fig bar, and that's vegan. Uh, these are not, <laughs> but I've gotten these a couple of times at um, Sprouts. And I really like them. They got like raisins and cranberries and nuts and stuff in there. And they're just so good. So I just wanted some while I was there. Um, we got some um, spaghetti squash while we were there. So uh, we'll do some spaghetti squash. I got some uh, organic um, pasta sauce while we were there. So, um, so that sounds like spaghetti right there to me. Um, and then a few things, uh, well, okay, let me just show you these. And then just some different types of beans, two of each. The organic uh, garbanzo beans. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. <laughs> organic lentils and then organic uh, soup beans. Um, my husband likes chips, so I got some, um, some bean and rice chips. Uh, pico de gallo flavor. These are vegan, um, so we'll try them. 
see if we like them. Um, and then these last three things um, that we got, I actually um, saw like um, like uh, YouTube reviews on them. And um, I'm sorry, my dog is getting into things here. Stop, Duke. Um, but I wanted to try these. I heard these were good, this brand specifically. Um, so, and these are, uh, are vegan. They're ba basically, uh, meatless, um, uh, chicken tenders. So, we'll see. And I got two bags of those. So, we'll see what those are like. And then I also got, I don't eat mayo myself, but, um, my husband, like, you know, eats mayo on, on sandwiches and things. So, I did get, um... Uh, let's see if we can get this to. Yeah, so we did get this uh, egg free, basically a vegan mayo. That's what that is. Also got uh, Phil Roast brand, which I also heard about this on YouTube as well. Thought we'd try it. Uh, this is the Mexican Chipotle flavor. And again, it's a. Um, I think this is supposed to be like a vegan meat or something too. So anyway, we'll try that. And then the last thing is a better than bouillon vegetable base, uh, which I like to use in soups and that sort of thing. So and again, this is vegan as well. So we'll um, we'll try that as well. So yeah, just a little mini, mini, mini. You know, um, I had plenty of greens and stuff like that already in the. Um, already in the refrigerator so that's why you don't see like a lot of uh, kale and spinach and all that kind of stuff because I already had all of that so um, so anyway I uh, just wanted to show you what we we're kind of just gonna try a little bit of this week and um, we'll talk to you later let you know how things are going and what else we decide to try <laughs> and how some of this stuff was we'll talk to you later okay y'all gotta have a good day bye thanks for stopping by Hi everyone, welcome back to Fifi's Place. So I wanted to uh, come in real quick because I did finally make it over to Whole Foods. And <clears throat> as you know, we're trying out, <laughs> testing the waters on vegan products because we are looking at changing it how we eat. So I wanted to just show you a few of the things that I picked up while we, by no means do I intend on doing all of my grocery shopping from now on at Whole Foods. Um, I did pick up some things from Sprouts the other day and then uh, we do have a Trader Joe's but it's not that close to us. So, um, uh, and then uh, the ATB where we normally shop actually has a lot of things. But I knew that Whole Foods probably would have some things maybe that ATB wouldn't and then oh, I could I could try the things and then see if I could find them somewhere else less expensive. But anyway, I'll just show you real quick um, what I picked up. That's my puppy shaking. But um, anyway, I got some, uh, and this is just for cooking, really, uh, some extra virgin um, olive oil that we were out of, uh, some liquid smoke to taste, make things taste more like here in the South. <laughs> um, I got some organic um, cashews. Don't even know what I'm going to do with those yet. Um, I tried some Mary's crackers, I don't know, a year or a longer ago. And I decided to try a, a one that I hadn't tried. So we'll try. That's just a cracker. I have some, um, and all these things are, would be considered vegan. Um, I have some cinnamon toast, organic rice cakes that we'll try. And then I heard lots of things about uh, the, what do they call The Lara bars. So there's key lime, the pecan, chocolate covered almond, coconut cream, and lemon bar that we'll try out. I got some, um, I there had, of course, had lots of different wraps, but um, sprouted wraps and things that maybe I'll try the next time. But for this time, this one sounded good. The Southwest, um, it just sounded, you know, spicy and good. Here will be a first. <laughs> 
a uh, a meat free pizza. So uh, we'll try that and see what that um, tastes like. Um, never tried that before. Uh, heard a lot about the um, Gardein uh, products. So I did get some chicken strips the last time. Um, and um, I liked them. Um, I don't think my husband ever got a chance to try them and neither did my son. <laughs> yes, I guess I did like them. But anyway, uh, so there's some ground meatless, beefless ground that we'll try sometime this week. Uh, some chicken free strips, Southwest style, like I said, you know, so we might do maybe, you know, a burrito with a wrap with uh, the chicken and then just fill it with veggies, you know. Uh, also got a some sliders and a black bean slider. And I got, and I thought this was a good, they had the, like the meat a patties by itself, like in, um, uh, you know, bigger patties in bags, but I thought this would be a good way for us to try it before we commit to the bigger ones. You know, that way all of us could try it. Um, so there's a chicken one as well. Uh, picked up some more grapes. Um, we eat lots of grapes. Picked up some more strawberries. We eat lots of strawberries. Um, this will be a first. Um, yeah, a dairy-free cheese. So we'll try that. Got some bananas. Um, the only dressing we usually eat, uh, eat, you know, on our salads if we're gonna get it is ranch. So I found a a non-dairy ranch. So we'll try it and see what that's like. And then, um, and then I just tried, like that, like this. And then I got like one of each. A um, what is this? Oh, a papaya. And because I can't remember if I, I don't eat these things, these three things enough to know if I really if I like it or not. Ugh, what is this? This is a oh a mango. <laughs> the other ones I got were like big and like orangey looking. So I don't know if that means this is not ripe yet or what it means. I'm not really sure. But anyway, that's a mango. And then I got a, a key lime, which I know I like key lime usually on dessert, but I don't know if I've ever just tried eating it as a fruit. So anyway, got a key lime as well. So we'll no, this is not a key lime. What is this? Is this a key lime? No, 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 no. One was a, wait, one was a mango, one was a papaya. Yeah, mango, papaya, and then yeah, I think that's what this was, is a key lime. I thought it had a sticker on it, but now to be a surprise fruit, because I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so anyway, that's what we picked up today, and um, yeah, so we'll see how all this goes, and hopefully I'll get back with you um, to let you know. So there's my itty bitty, but expensive um, whole food haul for today. Thanks. Um, and, and we did get a couple more items. Yeah, I don't even want to tell you how much. <laughs> it's way too much. All right. Have a good one.